Okay, shrimp and grits, man, that is about as southern as you can get. And actually nowadays, this you can find it just about everywhere. It's uh, everybody's got their own variation to this, but it's it's really a fine meal. I actually, start off as a breakfast, and you can still use it as a breakfast. But uh, let's get started with it. I got two pounds of Gulf shrimp here. It start out as two pounds with the heads and shells on. I've peeled and deveined these. And at this time, I'm going to take some of this Tango Spice Cajun Rub. Man, I really like this stuff. I used it uh, a few weeks ago on one of my other cooks. Basically, all I'm going to do is just toss some in there. Just like that. I'm going to taste some grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil has a high temperature uh, smoke temp on it. Also, it does not impart any flavor of its own into whatever you put it into. We're just going to toss them around, just like that. I'm going to be putting these on skewers, and we're going to be doing it uh, on the grill grates. We're going to try to get some nice caramelization on this. All right, we're going to add a little bit of salt to this as well. I'm using kosher salt. Go a little bit more. That ought to be plenty. A little bit of black pepper. should be plenty. I'm also going to add just a touch of red pepper flakes just for a little heat. Mix this all in good. All right I'm going to take these skewers I'm going to go ahead and start skewing these uh, shrimp on here, get them ready for the grill. We'll be back. All right, I got the Kamado Joe hanging right at 400 degrees. We're getting ready to open it up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put these skewers on here. It's not going to take long. Anytime you put the shrimp on a skewer, you want them really tight like this. You want them tight together because they do cook fast and you want them to have a chance to caramelize. We're going to go ahead and drop this down for about two minutes. Yeah, they could have went another minute or two. Shrimp cook really fast. You know, you really don't want to go more about three or four minutes on each side. I normally do these in a grill pan just for this very reason because skewers and me don't get along too good. But it's going to work out all right. All right, I just flipped these over again, and uh, these shrimp are done. You can see some of the char on here. That's what gives these the awesome flavor, that grill flavor. They will have to go into a red-eye gravy here in a little bit to uh, finish off, but basically they're done. I'm getting ready to take them off. Going to slide them onto some aluminum foil and just wrap them up till later. All right, the next phase in making this shrimp and grits is to make the grits. These are going to be some old-fashioned sure enough grits first thing going in is going to be two and a half cups of milk and two and a half cups of water i already mixed these two items together right, now i'm going to put four tablespoons of butter that's unsalted butter i'm going to crack quite a bit of pepper here probably close to uh, a good half to three quarters of a teaspoon got to have some salt too I'm gonna be somewhere around a teaspoon of salt. All right, I'm gonna let this come up to a simmer. Right before it gets up to a simmer, I'm gonna slowly start adding the grits in. We'll be back. All right, these grits are up to a simmer. Just through one cup of grits in here. These are old fashioned grits. Take around 20 minutes and this is at a good simmer and that's where you want to leave it. 
and as you can tell I'm doing this on the Kamado Joe and I'm doing it on purpose you could easily do this on your stove top but uh, I'm trying to figure out just where to set this grill you know for different things it's nothing but a stove it's an oven it's a grill it's a, a stove top it's anything you want it to be and uh, that's what I'm doing I'm playing with it so we'll be back All right, these grits are done. They're at the right thickness that I like. I'm fixing to add some Parmesan cheese into this. Got some Parmesan slices. I'm gonna stir that in. I want them real cheesy. Let's go ahead with some more of this. These are coming off. I'm gonna put a lid on them, put them in the house, and we'll be back. All right, we're getting ready to make some red eye gravy. It starts with two tablespoons of oil. Once again, I'm using grapeseed oil because it holds up to high temperature. Not that it's gonna be that hot, but we are cooking outdoors. All right, now into that, I'm gonna put andouille sausage. I've got roughly eight ounces I think this is more like uh, 10 ounces that I put in there, give or take a little bit. But we're going to go ahead and let that start rendering and browning. Okay, these aren't too far from being as brown as I want them, not quite there. But before they get there, I'm going to go ahead and put in one half of a red onion. You can also use shallot. And I've got about six cloves of garlic minced. These are kind of a medium chop on the onions. We'll stir that in, let those saute also. Ooh, man, man, I am smelling up the neighborhood. You hear me? I'm glad I'm around back. Nobody knows where it's coming from. All right, now I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of this Tango Spice Cajun Rub. Good stuff. Go over there and visit Tango Joe at tangospice.com. He'll hook you up. I tell you what, living down here, I've tried all of them and uh, I'm really, really impressed with this one. All right, the onions are translucent. The garlic is just starting to smell good and the sausage is nice and brown. I'm going to add around two cups of this chicken broth. Right now, I have this Cafe Du Monde coffee and chicory. I made about a half a pot of that. I only needed about three quarters of a cup. It's a real strong coffee. I brewed it strong. The chicory actually kicks it up. Uh, Cafe Du Monde is a famous place in the French Quarter there in New Orleans. So I'm able to buy that coffee right here in my city too. Right now into that you want to add about a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce some Lee and Perrins. That ought to be around a quarter of a cup. Fresh as it can be. Best food than you ever ate. That's your guarantee. Three shakes of Tabasco and maybe three shakes more. Next week you'll make that run again just like the week before. Let's plate it up. I went ahead and put some grits in my plate here. Basically all we're going to do is spoon that on there like so. But of course I've got to have more shrimp and sausage. A little green onion. Ooh, look at that. Alright, let's try this out. Gotta get a shrimp first. Oh, 
Holy moly. God, that is fine. Mm. Oh my God. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. All right, people, till next time, smoke your ribs. Making damn good time.